chat GPT-4 is going to change everything. And it's available today. If you haven't heard yet, OpenAI just ran a live stream where they showed off their newest version of ChatGPT, the famous language model that lets users put in prompts and get a text-based response to that prompt. It was already extremely powerful, but when OpenAI released ChatGPT 3 and then evolved it to 3.5, they did let us know that that version of GPT was actually a couple years old already. And so today, they finally unveiled what they'd been working on the last few years chat gpt4 and what they showed in that live stream is absolutely mind blowing i cannot believe the things that i just saw we're going to get right into it so the first thing that they unveiled about chat gpt4 users can now put in images and text into the prompt where you would normally type you know you would type something to chat gpt you can now put images in that text box and ChatGPT can interpret what's inside the image and give you prompts based on the image. You can see an example of this on their website where you upload an image, for example, of some ingredients and you ask ChatGPT, what can this cook? What can I make from these ingredients? And ChatGPT can give you a list of recipe ideas based on those ingredients. You don't need to give any other context. ChatGPT scans that image and it will understand what's in that image and it can fulfill prompts based on its scan another example in the trailer video that they released which i'll link down below is they uploaded an image of some balloons tied to some string and if you ask chat gpt what happens if i cut the string well chat gpt knows the laws of physics it scanned the image so it will respond with something like the balloons are going to float into the air so chat gpt now knows what's happening inside images and it can use that information to answer questions like never before it can now use screenshots to get context you can ask it to describe what's happening in different images if you don't understand or if you're visually impaired or even if the image has a language in it that you don't understand chat gpt can interpret that for you as well in the live stream the host had this handwritten scribble of a website that he wanted built so he had the scribble on the piece of paper he took a photo he uploaded it to gpt4 and gpt4 from that one image wrote all the html code for the website and presented that code to him which he then tested and showed the website built just as he intended in fact the website that was built had things in it that the scribble didn't even mention for example the scribble said to insert jokes and chat gpt took that information and said no worries we're going to build the website and it wrote the jokes for him without him even needing to put the jokes in there. Chat GPT-4 just knew what he wanted on the website from a scribble, from a photo. Another amazing improvement that they showed with GPT-4 is that you can now tell the system what role you want it to imitate. You can give it a persona. It's literally taking the technology and saying, hey, I want you to be a world-class lawyer. Or, hey, I want you to be an expert coder, or I want you to be a world-class marketing consultant. And within seconds, have access to these really niche, specialized skills at your fingertips. It does bring into question what the future of specialization will even be in the labor market, because we're only at the start of ChatGPT4, and GPT-5 will be released eventually, and who knows where it's going to take that role technology but that's now present and it's quite exciting it's quite cool if all of this wasn't impressive enough there's still more the next thing that they showed about gpt4 is that gpt4 can now create things it now has creation built into its neural engine network however this thing works it can now build software and applications based on prompts that you give it you don't really need to write code for it or anything like that you can give it an idea you can give it your vision and it can build code to best to try and best fulfill that vision in the live stream for example they use the prompt for it to build a discord chatbot for gpt4 and gpt4 built a discord bot of itself for discord within itself they then for the rest of the live stream 
communicated with GPT-4 through the Discord chatbot, and it was all built in chat GPT-4 from a prompt to build that. Wow, I'm, wow, that was, that was next level. When I saw that, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I have zero coding skills and I could imagine some kind of application and I could use GPT-4 to build that app. Remember Flappy Bird? I reckon GPT-4 could build a new Flappy Bird by just giving it the prompt to do so and you put it on the app store and you make millions of dollars. I mean, wow. The next feature that they showed in the live stream was that GPT-4 now has far better recognition of conversations. So you don't really need to give it as much guidance as you did before. So let's say for example, you give GPT a prompt to summarize um, an essay for you. And so GPT-3, you would need to give it a little bit of direction. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. Can you please give more detail about X, Y, and Z? And that would give GPT uh, a little bit more information and it would pull what you need for the prompt. And that was already extremely powerful. But think about it. If you're talking to a human being, you're not really gonna talk to them that way. ChatGPT-4 can do that for you. If you give it that same essay and you tell it to summarize it, and it gives you the prompt and you're not happy with the response, you can literally just say something like, mm, that's not insightful enough. Press enter and then chat GPT-4 is going to take what it made for you and give you even more information related to that essay and kind of just contextually understand the conversation better and answer your prompts better. Not only that, but now because it understands conversations better, companies are taking that part of GPT-4 and putting it into their tools, for example, their chatbots, or a relevant example for me is Duolingo. On their website, OpenAI talked about a partnership they have with Duolingo to release a new tier of Duolingo, where you'll be able to talk to the AI in a different language. The AI is going to understand what you're trying to say, correct you, and give you recommendations to improve your conversational skills. And me and my partner right now are using Duolingo to learn Italian and Turkish. Having this tier of Duolingo, being able to practice my Turkish with an AI and have it correct me is really cool. It's like having a tutor for a language in your pocket. Yeah, the, the advancements in conversation is crazy. Next up, it also has more powerful prompt fulfillment. In the live stream, they showed how if you give ChatGPT 3.5 a really complex prompt that it's not ready for, it will just default to the answer it wants to give. Anyway, the example that they gave was taking an article and wanting it summarized using words that only begin with a certain letter. But GPT 4 really wants to make you happy. It knows that you want it done in that way. Even though they wanted the summary to have all words that start with the letter Q, GPT-4 made that happen and it made sense. I don't even know five words that start with the letter Q and GPT-4 summarized a really in-depth technological document with words starting with Q. It was pretty insane to see. We're still going, there is more with this. The next thing that GPT-4 can do is now pass through, scrub through entire documents that you provide it if you want information from those documents. So on their website, they pasted the Wikipedia link for the Rihanna uh, performance at the Super Bowl. And they asked ChatGPT-4 to summarize all that information in that long Wikipedia document. And GPT-4 somehow scrubbed through that link and provided a really nice summary about all the information in that Wikipedia article. And there are lots of ways you can use this. For example, they used GPT-4 to pass through the tax code of the United States and have it do their taxes for them uh, and give them tax related answers um, to their questions. Just this feature alone, I would pay top dollar for and GPT-4 can do it for you for free. Yeah, finally we can say there's something out there that can do our taxes. It's nuts. The last insane thing about GPT-4 that I think a lot of people have missed is that the potential of it is still unknown. During the live stream, the host from OpenAI said quite literally that they still don't know 
what GPT-4 is capable of fully and that they're still testing it, they're still upgrading it, but they're releasing it slowly. Even though it's available today, you do have to join a waitlist, but it is available today. They're releasing it in increments because they're not quite sure what it's capable of. When a creator of such an insane piece of software says that they don't know what it's capable of, I consider that one of the craziest features of that software. This whole list has been these amazing, powerful things that they found it can do, but there still could be more. And we're gonna be discovering that as the years go by. We probably won't even find it all out before GPT-5 releases. There's an image that I'm gonna put on the screen right now that shows how much data was used to train GPT-3 compared to GPT-4. As you can see, the difference is enormous. GPT-3 was already powerful enough. GPT-4 has all of this data and it can analyze images. I mean, wowee. OpenAI have stated things like ChatGPT4 can write a 60,000 page book based on a single prompt. So who knows what's coming next? Who knows what it's capable of? But to me, that's insanity. And finally, GPT-4 is out today, like I said. You have to join a waitlist, but this technology is already out there. And if you go through the OpenAI website, you'll find a large number of companies and partners who are already using this technology and baking it into their products and services. From things like Duolingo that I talked about before, to Khan Academy, to a visual impairment company called Be My Eyes, to Dropbox, and even the Icelandic government to preserve their whole historical language. You're gonna see this seep more and more into your life. And my theory is it's gonna seep into your life quicker than any other technology ever has. It's just the nature of this technology. It grows faster, learns faster, becomes better more rapidly than anything ever before because it's data-based and you can just put data into it so quickly and so fast. It also teaches itself. I'd say prepare to have this technology be a big part of your life in just 12 to 24 months maybe even less. It's already a huge part of my life and my business. So I can't wait to see what this is gonna do uh, for the world. I saw an example of AI being used to detect breast cancer before doctors could. The future is now. We are literally at a precipice of history that will be written about in the history books. I can imagine this live stream, the chat GPT-4 announcement being like a key moment in future history books where people talk about where humanity changed everything because it really is that big of a deal. Everything humans have created technology wise from the first computer to the internet to silicon based technology has all progressed to now to AI. AI is that final product that we've been waiting for. Exciting times and exciting features. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. I hope you're as excited for ChatGPT for an AI as I am. If you like this content and anything marketing related, feel free to subscribe. We'll be uploading a video every week. I'll see you guys next time.